Hello everyone. Welcome to, XDynamo. In this video, we will discuss about, thermal analysis on, FIN. Computational results versus, theoretical calculations. We will discuss, how to use ANSYS, steady state thermal analysis workbench, to analyze the heat transfer, in FIN. Here is the, problem statement. Let us consider, a straight, aluminium fin. Find the, heat transfer, and, temperature distribution in the fin, using ANSYS, steady state thermal, workbench. Compare the, computational results with, theoretical calculations. We will consider, a straight aluminium fin, with rectangular cross section of, 30 mm by 5 mm. The base temperature is, 300 degrees Celsius. The length of fin is 200 mm. The fin is placed in an environment, with convection coefficient of, 10 watt per meter square, and, ambient temperature of, 25 degrees Celsius. First, we will go through, the theoretical calculations of, temperature distribution and, heat transfer rate, of the fin. Temperature distribution The temperature distribution, in a fin, is given by the formula, T minus, T infinity, by T naught, minus, T infinity, equal to, cos, H of, M into, L minus X, divided by, cos, H M L. The convection coefficient is, 10 watt per meter square degree Celsius. The length of fin, is 200 millimeters. Cross section area is, 30 millimeters by 5 millimeters, equals to 1.5 times, 10 power minus 4, meter square. The perimeter of the fin is, 0.07 meter. Aluminium has, thermal conductivity of, 228.2, watt per meter, degree Celsius. M equal to, square root of, HP, by KAC. On substituting the above values, we get M equal to, 4.522. ML equal to 0 0.904 which is less than 5. This implies that, the fin is of, finite length and we have to use, corrected length approach. The corrected length, of fin is, L plus T by 2, equals 2, 0 0.202 meters. Modify the, temperature distribution formula, using corrected length, LC. On substituting the values of, T naught, T infinity, M and, LC in this formula, The temperature distribution, in fin is obtained as, function of the, location x along the, length of fin. At tip of the fin, where x equals to 0.2 meters, the temperature is obtained as, 215.04, degree Celsius. Heat transfer The rate of heat transfer, from fin surface, is given by, q equal to, square root of, hp, ksc into T naught, minus, T infinity, times, dan H, MLC. Make sure that, the corrected length, is being used in this formula. On substituting the above values, in this formula, the heat transfer rate, from fin surface to surroundings, is obtained as, 30.767, watts. Now, we will perform the, computational analysis of fin using, ANSYS. Thermal analysis, Thermal analysis, measures the effect of, thermal loading on your model. It is similar to, static mechanical analysis, but the nature of loads is different. The heat flux, heat generation, are considered as loads. The constraint set, is comprised of one or more prescribed temperatures, and convection conditions. Steady state thermal analysis. Steady state thermal analysis, is used to calculate, the thermal response to heat loads, depending on the prescribed temperatures, or applied convection conditions, or both. Steady state, thermal analysis assume, a steady state for all thermal loads, and boundary conditions. This form of analysis, does not evaluate changes over time. Create a new project, in ANSYS. Go to steady state, thermal workbench. Click on engineering data. Create a new material, name the material as, aluminium, 
and provide the value of thermal conductivity as 228 watt per meter Celsius. Click on geometry and open the design modeler. Select YZ plane. Change the units to millimeters. Go to sketching and draw a rectangle at the origin. This rectangle will be the cross section of the fin. Provide dimensions of the rectangle as 30 millimeters by 5 millimeters. Click on Extrude. Select Sketch of the Rectangle, and provide the depth of extruding. As 200 mm. Click on Generate. Now create a new sketch. Go to YZ Plane and Draw another rectangle. This will be the cross section of the base, on which the fin is placed. Provide dimensions of rectangle, as, 60 mm by 60 mm. Extrude the second rectangle for the depth of 20 mm. Click on Generate. The geometry is ready for analysis. Close the Design Modeler. Click on Model, and wait for the geometry to get loaded. Go to Materials and create Material Assignment of Aluminium. Select all the faces of both, fin and base, to apply the material. Go to Mesh, and provide element size of 0.001 meters, with default settings. Click on Generate Mesh. Wait for the meshing to complete. Fine mesh is created with an element size of 0.001 meters. Click on Steady State Thermal and insert temperature. Select the base surface and give the temperature as 300 degrees Celsius. Now insert convection. And select all the faces of the fin. Provide the film coefficient as 10 watt per meter square Celsius and ambient temperature as 25 degrees Celsius. Go to Solutions, and insert Temperature, and Total Heat Flux. Click on Solve. The solution is completed. Click on Temperature, to view the temperature distribution. The minimum temperature is 214.85 degrees Celsius at the tip of the fin.
click on total heat flux. Observe that the maximum heat flux is at the base of the fin. The maximum heat flux is 2.143 into 10 power 5 watt per meter square. Let us calculate the rate of heat transfer using heat flux results from ANSYS. We have already performed theoretical calculation of heat transfer through convection from fin surface to surroundings. The maximum heat flux from ANSYS results is obtained as 2.14 into 10 power 5 watt per meter square. As there is no internal heat generation, heat transfer from fin to surroundings through convection is equal to heat transfer from base surface to fin through conduction. The formula for heat transfer through conduction is given by heat flux at base multiplied by cross section area of the fin. As the maximum heat flux occurs at the base, substituting these values in the equation, we get rate of heat transfer as 32.10 watts. Here is the summary of the results. The temperature at the tip is obtained as 215.04 degrees Celsius from theoretical calculations, whereas the ANSYS results show the tip temperature as 214.85 degrees Celsius, with an error of 0.08%. Theoretical calculations shows that the rate of heat transfer is 30.76 watts, whereas the ANSYS results show the heat transfer rate as 32.10 watts with an error of 4.35%. Computational results from ANSYS are very close to the theoretical calculations. The error in temperature distribution is negligible. The error in heat transfer is less than 5%. Here is the conclusion of this video. The computational results from ANSYS match with the theoretical calculations with negligible error. The accuracy of the computational results is largely influenced by the geometry and mesh quality. The error, in this case, is less than 5% as it is simple geometry, and fine mesh is used for analysis. It is always advisable to go through theoretical calculations or experimental data before the simulation in ANSYS. The meshing and solver settings are to be modified to minimize the error. That's all for this video. The link to our website is provided in the description. Go to the website. Here you can find all our work at a single place. You can reach out to us through contact page. Having new ideas? Then come let's do it together. We will encourage you to come up with interesting ideas that can be a small simulation or a big project. Send us a message. We can work on it together. If you get value from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to X Dynamo. Thank you. We'll see you in our next video.